Oh my. Rivers and bodies of water are turning to blood worldwide. People fear that the apocalypse is near. Let us look at the Word of God. Something prophetic is happening worldwide. Welcome, dear friends, to Truth in Bible Prophecy Media. Thank you, friends, for supporting this ministry. You can send your support via PayPal or by becoming a patron. Here is the prophetic alert that we should know. Saudi Arabia. Video circulating the internet of bodies of water turning to blood and that the end times are here. Some reacted that it is God pouring His wrath into the world. Others say that it just died water and coloring. Some worry that it is a wake-up call from God following the locust invasion last April 2023. During the Ramadan, Rains, the Grand Mosque, was besieged by a massive swarm of locusts. What could this plague of biblical proportions mean? Russia, a Siberian river, has mysteriously turned blood red. Talk of a river of blood, and that's actually what it looks like, which is kind of spooky. There's some colorful folklore from this area among Siberian nomads that you cross a river of blood to enter into the afterlife, to go into the underworld. Satellite imagery does suggest that this river is surrounded by death. Within miles of its banks, there are little or no signs of life. It's just a death zone. No plants or animals. What is killing all this stuff? Russian authorities are trying to determine the cause of the omnibus change of the Daldikan River, located above the Arctic Circle and flowing through the mining town of Norilis. Why are all the rivers turning red one by one? Okinawa, Japan, independent.co.uk says, Japanese river turns blood red, alarming residents. Local residents took to social media and described the flowing red water as gruesome and venomous. The dramatic change in color has brought fear of the end times. There was an explanation behind this from BBC. But yet, they were convinced that it gave them the chills that God is showing us a glimpse of end time and apocalypse. Turkey Israel365news.com Deadly earthquake in Turkey turns rivers blood red. Earthquake in Turkey produced an unexpected replay of the first plague in Egypt as a river began flowing deep red. So far, there is no answer that explains the cause of the blood that comes from the ground. Not even government entity can explain that event in Turkey. China Wenzhou WashingtonPost.com says, Locals in the Chinese city of Wenzhou woke a puzzle to find that the river was blood red. A few people that were up and about at 5 a.m. said that everything was normal. Within the space of a few minutes, the water started turning darker and eventually was completely red. Wenzhou is a center for commerce on China's eastern coast. It is also a center of Christian faith in China and is often referred to as China's Jerusalem. After the river water turned red, some residents posted on social media that the crimson waters were a sign of Armageddon. The other night, folks smelled something strange and then the Wenzhou River turned red, blood red, and nobody knows why. Indiana. Now, and uh, yeah, don't adjust your screen there. The river you see there really has turned red in northern Indiana. In Revelations, let the waters turn red. And that's the end of time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Reminds me of the Ten Commandments. There. <laughs> a little Hester. bit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Why do we see such prophetic imagery again and again? Is God conveying a message to us? Is God showing us a wake-up call? Revelation 14 verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture. What does this mean? Poured out without mixture. Drinking wine from the Lord's cup in the Old Testament is a frequent symbol of God's wrath. 
Isaiah 51, 17 to 23. In ancient times, wine was often diluted with water to reduce its strength. Undiluted wine was mixed with various herbs and spices to increase its intoxicating strength. The mix, undiluted wine, represents God's wrath being fully executed without His mercy. This is the seven plagues of Revelation. Just as the Israelites were on the earth, when the plagues fall, so will God's church and God's people will witness these seven plagues. But those who will receive the seal of God will be protected. Moses turned water into blood and struck the land of Egypt with all kinds of plagues. So it will be experienced by those who will receive the mark of the beast. Just as Moses is asking its human leader Pharaoh to let God's people free to come out of Egypt, so is the three angels' message of Revelation 18 verse 4. Come out of Babylon with its human leader, the Antichrist, the papacy. Majority of the Christian world believes that they they will not be here to experience the seven last plagues, for they will be secretly raptured. But that is not what the Bible teaches. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12, All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Did God save Noah from the storm in the flood or through it? God saved Noah and his family through the flood. They experienced the storm and flood, but protected. Acts 14, 22. We must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Did Jesus save Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael from the furnace of fire or through the furnace of fire? Did God save Daniel from the lion's den or through the lion's den? Did God remove Job's affliction or help him through it? So the principle in the Bible is God protecting us through the trials and tribulation. John 16 verse 33, In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Revelation 7 verse 14, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. There would be no secret rapture. No one was able to enter the temple anyway until the seven plagues are completed. Let's read this solemn statement from Revelation 15 verse 8. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God, and no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. The blood of Jesus was all over His ministry. There was blood in the courtyard, there was blood in the holy place, and there is blood in the most holy place. Would you like to be covered by the righteousness of Christ? Would you like to live your life by faith and surrender to Him? Are you covered by the blood of Christ today? You can make decisions for eternal life, friends. Kindly type in the comment section, I am covered by the blood of Christ. Let us prepare for the soon return of Jesus by sharing truth in Bible prophecy.